Greetings, this is Gynthian, and today I am playing on the Realm of Vastin. It's a pretty cool place. I am right now just north of, maybe northwest of the town of Treville. And when I was here the, given a tour the first time, I had found that it was pointed out that this castle was here. It was formerly known as Castle Lemura. Bad pronunciation. Also, they misspelled castle, so um, I am renaming it Grey Towers Castle and going to make it my home base. I thought this castle looked pretty cool. And I redid this drawbridge. Um, here's what it looks like now, and here's what it looks like, or used to look like. So I've made that modification. And then, we go in and look at him here. Here's what it looks like now. And here is what it looked like before. So you can see some of the improvements I've made here. I also added some storage and so on. And there is something here. What is this? I didn't put this here. <laughs> Present from misspelled Stu he was the night the person nice enough to give me a tour there's like two other builds main builds along this road other than Tannis there's that building right there that has no purpose Which that was that was built as somebody requesting to join the server so this 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 castle to the right is the one that's empty yes that has nobody in it we don't i don't even know the lore that's supposed to be with it there was no lore and i guess it's called castle Ulorma. well if i if i grab it as my house i can rename it well you can make it as a personal base but let's see what's in here <laughs> Fantastic. Stu gay uh, managed to get me an elytra and some tools and I proceeded to die and lose them the first night I was trying to work around this castle. I was killed by I think a zombie and couldn't find my stuff. And so I couldn't get it back before it despawned. And I lost my tools and the elytra and the rockets and everything else that I had acquired. So this is way cool. Oh, way cool. So I can put this on. And then I can go flying. Why is it not working? Is the lag that bad? Ooh. Almost. What is that? It's a glass block in the middle of nowhere. I was using the wrong button for the rockets. That lack of practice, that's all I can say. This building over here is actually the uh, Adventure Tower, Adventure Guild. This is just a church. 
And the cool thing is, this over here, this right here is the spawn building, for lack of a better term. It's where it spawned, I spawned in. And this, as soon as I turn around, is the town of... I forgot what I called it again already. Treville. So... There's a lot of really cool buildings here. I was told that the castle I am living in is was made or when this town was made uh, approximately three years ago. Which is, you know, just way cool. I also love these huge huge areas of uh, wheat it just it just looks cool it looks very cool so oh I can uh, I landed on my rooftop and killed myself the other day there's a cow I can land but I'm not that good at it there was a nice landing but without any kind of armor or anything if I hit the ground just oh so slightly too hard I go smack and die so you know an elytra is just another way to kill myself because I can teach you to play Minecraft but that doesn't say anything about me being good at Minecraft kinda so, something to do. By the way, they are technically in between seasons. This server was in the realm of Vastin season 5. And they're soon to get a launch season 6. And so, I am calling this episode pre-season six episode zero and depending on when version 1.16 actually becomes available i may end up doing more than one pre-season episode but it's gonna allow me time to get used to the town learn my way around better, build up some of my equipment, armor, so that I can participate on more equal footing with the other members on the server. This castle is laid out pretty nifty. Is nifty a word? I guess it is, technically. This is a... looks like a table and, and chairs. And if you continue up, here's a bedroom, and some more beds, and a nice room with a view. And if you continue on around, there's a fireplace, and a chest with nothing in it. The furniture is pretty cool, but there's not a lot of uh, contents in any of the chests. This goes up to one of the towers. And this is a little balcony area. I love the view from here too. And you can go all the way around. And above this is a, that uh, pointed top of the tower thing. Since I call this the Gray Towers, I need to build more towers around this. I want to make this castle even better than it already is. I love the way they did this up here. And they used coarse dirt. And here you can come out. They used... Oh! How did he get that? Oh, skeletons drop their heads when you kill them. And they used, that's what they used, they used the red brick. So, 
This zombie dude is just going to walk around on the outside. He looks like a guard. Obviously, the zombie killed the skeleton, and then the zombie picked up the head and the arrow. So he won't despawn. And there's the wonderful view of Vastin. Greetings, and I am back, and I have made a rather large mistake. You see, this server uses a texture pack, and I forgot to turn it on. If you look out here, you can see they have some really cool textures on the different levels of stone and I also uh, off camera created my banners which is the two you see here and if you continue this dark cobble is actually uh, andersite which is a really cool way to display it. And so that's what I chose to make my road out of. I got a nice fancy road here. And uh, needless to say. Oh, crap. My cows. Somebody left cows here. How do I get out of without letting the cows out. It says, Gintian, I think this is, this is yours here, is cows. Well, punctuation and wording is not strong point, but it's Warlock Robbie. Thank you very, very much. Now I just have to figure out how to get out. Not good. Not good at all. So. And it's a baby cow. Don't let the cows out. The cow's head is empty. God, that explains so much. Okay. Move, cow, so I can close it. There. One cow stayed, one cow wandered off. <sighs> With that in mind, let me tell you some more about how this server, the Realm of Vastin, works and what it is about. The Realm of Vastin is a content creator, kingdom craft styled Minecraft SMP that according to the creators are is rich in lore and storylines. It has been going for over four years and consisting of more than 50 kingdoms. Now, this currently is season or the end of season five of the Realm of Vastin. We are currently between seasons and the next season will start with Minecraft 1.16 whenever it drops. And that will be the start of season six. This building is the Adventurer's Guild and in every Adventurer's Guild, there is a control block with a button. And when you press it, it puts you into spectator mode which means now you can fly around, get a better look at things. 
You just have to know where the Adventurer's Guild is. You can see that everything really does look better with the new te with the proper texture pack turned on. The wheat fields even look better. This road right here, that's the same uh, road we saw that was gravel and wood blocks. Now it looks really cool. And I understand why things were so wrong before. This is spawn. This is the spawn building where first time I logged in, I appeared in the center of this building. And you can see my castle. <laughs> Greetings, I'm back and I'm in my home and this is my horse. I made a window in the back so that I could see how narrow this castle really is. I've also done a few other changes. I now have armor, which I can thank two people for. White Knight Stew and Warrior Robbly. Warrior Robbie. Uh, we went together out to find armor and have it crafted. Stu was our guide and kept us from getting lost. It was quite an adventure, regrettably none of which I caught while recording. So, essentially I didn't record it. But, you can see behind me, my castle, I am slowly making it bigger. I've added a few different things. Let's take a look. I now have this path down, and it gets steeper, so I can get over here more easily. This is slowly expanding and getting bigger because I want to build a two wide staircase like I have done here. This room is now significantly bigger and doesn't have a bed in it. This over here is the original stairway that we would go up. This is the way this particular area with all the trapdoors is supposed to look with the texture pack on. And if I go back down, I can see I've added this staircase, which is also a double wide. Coming up to this room. And if we go in here, you can see this is a waiting area or sitting area. It has the glass, which is actually brown stained glass is this perfectly clear glass that they have or it makes great windows this is built out this is the original window i'm working on making this area bigger and if we go is there any other way out of this room yes here's the the walkway that if we go up takes us ooh let's not do it that way this is why I need to work on the staircase and here we are at the top with the roof and I think that up there, that tiny dot, I don't know if you can see it, is a block, maybe a glass block that I found earlier. Now this is what the road really should look like. This is Vastin with the proper shaders on. 
I've also worked on building out my road, my fancy road, so that it goes off to the left and off to the right. Over there was the Adventurer's Guild that I mentioned. That's a church. And that right there is the spawn building, uh, where, the, where the center of spawn is located. I think the colors and the fields look even better on this texture. I've also added some of these trees. And essentially, I want to make... I'm going to have to redo that. But I want to make this larger, probably taller, but continue with this style. I really like it. But I'm going to say that this is the end of today's episode. I've had so much information to convey, and I didn't get to half of it. So, see you next time, and goodbye. <laughs>